<coughs> oh. Good stuff. Peace pipe. So, um, saw where Elizabeth Warren was rebuked by the Cherokee Nation for her overt racist claim to Native American heritage as part of a political campaign. Naturally, she has a tiny enough amount that most of the rest of us probably have a similar um, relation to any given Native American tribe, unless we are actually Natives. I'm not. And I'm reading about to sing with uh, Stormy Daniels' defamation case being thrown out. That's actually kind of sensible. Um, she had an agreement. And <coughs> um, I don't know, I'm slightly amused by the fact that the uh, independent news is basically still just dick riding and coattail surfing the mainstream. Um, reading somebody else's news article on your channel does not constitute being a news channel. You're just commentating and spreading the same things. But you're not doing reporting, you're just reading somebody else's reporting. So, um, I don't know. I guess the pattern I'm noticing is that everybody is talking about, like, old news. Like, the things happening today get a brief mention, but we keep going back to things that happened several days ago or a week ago. And last week was exactly the same thing. And I think the week before that might have been as well. But definitely last week and this week have been um, slow walking the news to you from these, these people. So um, obviously there is a drive or a push in <clears throat> the narrative, but basically they want people to fall behind on current events. Uh, that would be my guess. So... Anyways, yeah, um, I'm having fun watching a uh, racist liberal get slaughtered by the Native American she falsely claimed to be related to. Um, I think a lot of news all dropped at the same time today with uh, Carter Page and Stormy and, you know, everything else. But, um, you know, in the meantime, while they're talking all this other kind of shit, um, you know, the president went down to a hurricane site to do his presidential visit thing, so... Um, I don't know. I drove 500 miles last night, and I just listened to an audio book and basically didn't think about any of it. It was really great. Um, but I woke up, and I saw the amount of news that was going on, and I thought, wow, that's pretty interesting. But like I said, it comes to it, the all the independent sources are literally just quoting other news sources. They're not actually providing news. They're just, it's like... If I don't want to watch the mainstream media, but I'll watch a channel of somebody that does watch the mainstream media to get their take on it. But if they watch the mainstream media, their take is probably influenced and indoctrinated. And if they're not watching the mainstream media, how are they not what, knowing what's going on if they're not doing their own reporting? You see. So, anyways, that's where we're at there. Um, not really much else to say, I guess. Uh, just really interesting, you know, and just pay attention, watch, and you'll see. Um, the truther channels are behind. They're not talking on anything of consequence. Um, in the political arena, it appears as though Trump is being handed wins, but I kind of get the feeling that that is not necessarily the case. Um, certainly calling Stormy Daniels a horse face was a pretty lowball thing. very immature um so you know consider the people that are that too how, how high school is that how lunchroom is that you know but i guess coming back around things i've said months ago the um lunchroom scenario is kind of what's going on i mean the the q anon is basically the bullshitter at the table that's lying to everybody just to get an impression and you know people to think they're cool um, you got people talking shit back and forth. You got the guy that fucked the girl, and now that they're done with it, they're talking shit about each other. Um, you got that other girl in the corner that's claiming to be more special than she really is, so someone will pay attention to her. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's basically 
all that really seems to be going on right now. Um, meanwhile, in my audiobook in Allegasia, uh, Aragon and uh, Murtag are almost to the Varden. We'll uh, put those on the scales next to each other and see which one is more important. Mm -hmm.